I'll just make a video on the Aurora R13 now, just on the Alienware Command Center software. I've had heaps of questions about that, so I'll just show you quickly, roughly how it works. It's a bit of a mess. Um, I have actually turned up here in the settings, they've got these particle effects, which they look all right, but as you can see, they are, they're not very optimized. They jump around and don't work the best. This is a 12900K and a 3080 Ti, so surely it's got enough power to run that. So um, I, um, I think it's just a problem with the software. It's not very optimized. So I just turn it off because at the moment it looks a bit rubbish when it's jumping around like that. So down the bottom down here are your profiles. So this is what the computer will actually be running. So for your thermals, for your fan settings, they've got a couple of generic ones here that comes with as in quiet, performance and balanced. I just leave it on performance because that's going to be the most aggressive. Not that it's very aggressive at all, but that's the settings they have stock. And they're the ones that will be running. I'll explain that a bit more in a minute. Up the top up here in the games ones, you can set a separate profile up here for like for the thermals for when games start. So if you wanted to down the bottom, you could have it on silent and then have it on performance up here. But I haven't found that it makes too much of a difference because even when it's on performance down the bottom, the computer is running silently and it ramps up when you go into games anyway. So it doesn't really make a lot of difference. You can do a lot of other settings up here as in you can have custom like um, the RGB setup. So when a certain game launches, it'll have a different RGB setup. But I haven't played with any of that yet. If I go into the Fusion tab, this gets a bit confusing if you're new. I do have an Alienware laptop, so I've been playing with it for a while, so I've got a bit of an understanding on how it works. But if you go into the fan curves, you would think, or not that any of these are named, as you can see, they've got funny names. On other computers, they actually make a bit more sense. I have worked out what fans wear just by playing with them. But if you go into the advanced tab and just manually try and set a fan curve, just say, we'll put it on 100% and click save, and we'll just call it, it doesn't really matter what it's called, just save that. If we go back to the fan, you'll see it hasn't changed. You look at the advanced tab, it should be running 100%, it hasn't. The reason why is because if you go back to the home over here, these active profiles, this is where you need to change it here. So if we go to this and just pick that one that we just changed it to, and activate it, now that profile will be activated. And this fan that we just changed, you can see it's starting to ramp up. It's gonna run at 100%. And you can hear now it's it's bloody loud. These are very high RPM fans. Um, God, you would never want it running like that, but that's how that works anyway. So I'm just gonna put it back on auto because I will set up my own fan curves eventually, but at the moment I'm just trying to test how Alienware's got it all set up and how they've got it running, but that's how you can adjust them themselves. So you would think that if you just went in here and changed it, it would work, but it's not until you activate the actual profile down the bottom here, which will make it work. So that may help you out when you get your own, because I was playing with these for a while and, <laughs> and trying to change them and nothing was happening. I just thought it was just junk software, but that's actually how it works with a bit more playing around. If I go into the FX, that's where you adjust the lighting. It is also a bit janky. Over here on the side, you select lighting and you've got all your different devices. I do have, everything's Alienware, so it all shows up in here. But the computer itself, these are your different zones. As you can see, one lines up with the alien head, so on, so on. This is the side computer, it's the same deal. So up the top up here, it does have all zones and power buttons on all the different areas. You can select them and select them all at once, or you can do them all separately like I have. Up in the computer up in here, behind the Alienware logo, there is like an LED light bar, which gives that purple effect on the inside of the computer. The Alienware there on the side, the pump, the radiator fan, the G-Force logo, as far as I can see so far, you cannot change it, it's just white. And those two different zones on the front and the Alien header is a different zone. And you can see on here, they all show up. They've got separate numbers. You click on one of them, change it to whatever color you want here on the side, and that's it. There is different effects. You can have it breathing and cycling, just like most other RGB software. It's, um, 
I haven't bothered playing with it all too much. This is basically how it come. All I did was change this purple area on the side and same on the front. Just to mix it up, it come all blue from the factory. But other than that, that's basically how you'd run all this. It is a little confusing when you're new and looking at it. The biggest thing to remember is trying to change any of this, you need to make a new profile and make the changes on that new profile. Once you've done all that, go back to your home page and down the bottom, click on this and activate the new profile that you just made and that will make that custom profile running in the background. So if you set all your fans to 100, they will all be running at 100 all the time. This is just the games library. What you can do with this, you can go in, you can set, if you click on any random game, just pick, say, Cyberpunk, for example. While I was saying before, you can pick, if, say, you make a custom fan curb just for Cyberpunk, you can set it here. So all the fans just say you make them run at 100%. When you launch Cyberpunk, all your fans will run at 100%. Same with if you make a custom RGB setup, you make it all yellow. When you launch this, your fans will run 100% and they'll all go yellow. So that's how this software works. It seems to work most of the time. I've had it running on my laptop now for a few years and it, it works most of the time. Sometimes you'll launch the computer and it just doesn't, doesn't load, doesn't work. But um, most of the time it's okay. But that's, that's basically how you change all this stuff. Obviously, it's constantly changing. They bring out updates for it. But at the moment, this is how it looks. It does look a little different from some of my other Alienware computers I've had. In here, you can see this is the overclock settings. I haven't played with any of this. This is not really a computer you want to overclock on. It doesn't have the strongest thermal performance. But this is what it comes at over the box. Looks like they've tried to apply a... 5.2 overclock it, ne it never goes to that as you can see it's constantly changing it changes with the temperature same with the memory there is no settings on the memory on this computer you cannot change or click on anything same with in bios there is no xmp setting to change but this is the frequency it's running at which is close to its what it should be running at i opened up gpu z for the video card and had a look the fans do ramp up, they run at about 2700 RPM when you're in game, once it starts getting up around the 75 degrees. Um, and it is pretty quiet, I can hardly hear it when it's running, so it's not too bad. On the side here they do have overclock profiles, one is the one that it's running on from factory which says that it's doing a 5.2. Um, if you go to 2, it's a bit more aggressive, it's saying a 5.3, I don't really think it makes too much of a difference between the two of them, I've just left it on 1. It's never going to get to 5.3 or 5.2 with this thermal. The way it's got just the single 120 radiator, it's, it's not going to be enough to run it at 5.3, so I don't know why they even bother. They should just have it set at, just leave it stock or set it at 5 and leave it at that. But yeah, yeah they've got to play with them. But that's about it so far. It's a bit of a strange program to get your head around. It's not set up the best. They could do a better job with all that, but... Once you get your head around it, it does work. You just got to play with it a bit.